uh, SMART uh, as a key component of sustainable city uh, development. Probably you do not feel a tension which is in this sentence and uh, the main idea of this presentation is that you could feel this tension at the end of my presentation as well because we see it as a very important issue. Uh, this tension, for some reason, uh -huh. uh, this tension was uh, firstly identified a year ago at our local smart city conference in uh, Prague. For those who don't know where it is, it's uh, lost somewhere in the central Europe. <laughs> and uh, we uh, identified that there is uh, some challenge in the balancing of uh, that what is connected with economic, environmental and social sustainability effort. We feel it is and we will try to explain why we think so. So, but let's start uh, from the scratch. Oof. What's happening? Yeah. It's not Bill Gates problem, it's a technical problem. Smart city, I know, I am in North America and I know that a smart city is gone and instead of that it's replaced by smart planet or maybe even smart universe, I don't know. It will shortly come but definitely we understand in Europe, in traditional Europe, that uh, smart city is a specific term connected with a specific condition on in the cities and we know that in the cities worldwide is living more than 50% of inhabitants. That's something like 51, 52. So we see that even we are limited to cities, we are working on a half of population worldwide. And we see it as a really specific uh, solution which uh, we are uh, discussing. It. And uh, it's important for us that our mother, that means European Commission, has the same meaning and is still ready to fund the project uh, which are related to uh, smart cities uh, area. There is a lot of definition, what does it mean smart and smart city. I like this one, which fits to my presentation, which says that uh, city development can be understood as a smart, if investment into human uh, capital, social capital, city infrastructure, etc., etc., is generating sustainable economic, environmental, uh, and environmental development and a higher quality of life. That's what's underlined. That's what the business understands. And uh, we are sure that we should balance it in the way that not the only business is the leader, but there that there is a someone. Uh, it's. Uh, final user, that means a citizen, who should be engaged in the process as well, and its interest would be uh, evaluated and taken in account. Oh. This is a funny uh, picture. I like it because it's totally nonsense. And uh, I remember it reminds me of one old joke about uh, those who were leading our country before political changes, that means about communist uh, countries and communist leadership. And I remember that, that there was a joke about uh, the main leader of the country, head of uh, the communist party, who was decide and who was, uh, uh, in fact, uh, the one who was signing all the changes in the society, including the pricing. But as much as we knew, he was not as bright as he could be. So he needed uh, some, some help with uh, some uh, processes, with some uh, tool which could simplify it. And he decided for alphabetic order. So he sta started to, inc to increase the prices with A, apricots, very good. Then it came with B, bananas, C, cucumbers, blah, 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 blah. And he came to E, and that was amazing alphabet because he was able to increase everything. <laughs> and that's <laughs> what is about this. The marketing about uh, uh, this uh, uh, smart city from the side of the uh, industry is saying whatever you can imagine will be a part of smart city. That's true, but that's not the root of the smart, uh, smartness of the city. So 
digital signature, for instance, or uh, whatever uh, biomass, pow bi biomass uh, power, that's something which might be used, but definitely not. Uh, it doesn't need to be uh, mentioned uh, with this uh, initiative. So we understand that this list of uh, responsibilities and services by government services, mobility, communication, waste collection, etc., etc., are important part of the city, which should be treated in a way that the whole system is getting to be smart. And definitely in the center of, of all the solution must be a complex ICT uh, system, which is uh, enabling uh, all the pro uh, processes which are expected to be in the city. Uh, city can be, uh, city activities can be split into two parts. One part is provisioning, that means uh, energy provisioning, water provisioning, mobility, etc., etc. And on the other side, there are, uh, oops, it's mine, you know, it's not local, it well, doesn't work well. Uh, so are the users, and users are people, citizens, which are traveling to work, which are working, sometimes they are resting as well, they are a bit living, and there are some of them, some of them are studying as well, and doing a science. So that's the other area of users, which are an important part of the city. They are the most important part of the city, but not accepted by everybody uh, till now. And in the center of that, uh, there is uh, <coughs> expected to, uh, to uh, uh, all the flows of data to be centralized in the central part or in the heart of the whole solution. Ah, my goodness. But definitely there are the threats which are related to that. I remember last year there was a big, big occasion in case of uh, money invested by the government to a smart city project uh, led by Fraunhofer Institute, uh, German Fraunhofer Institute. It was a very nice package and uh, one of the discussions we had together with them was what about the data? Who is obligated to provide data? Who is owner of the generated big data? Who is the authority responsible for the usage or misuse uh, usage of the data? And finally, who is responsible for uh, uh, data processing security? Security is definitely the main issue of such a big system. Imagine that uh, your life as one of the millions of citizens is, is uh, dependent on the functionality of, of the information system. If the information system doesn't work, you will not get what you want to get because uh, everything is centralized. So at the end of this uh, uh, slide, I have a question. Are we already ready to install such a system? And as a result of Fraunhofer Institute project Morgenstadt, that was the name of the project, they generated a couple of the small projects saying this is the way how to become a bit smarter. So we do not feel nowadays that we are ready to build a city from standard city to smart city, but we have to do it in a steps and steps which will remain uh, the sustainability of the process, sustainability of the living in the uh, city, etc., etc. He doesn't like me. It's a hacker. Hack, definitely. <laughs> <coughs> Sustainability and uh, smartness. Smartness, to simplify it, let's understand as a tool and sustainability as a need. So we need the sustainability and we are using uh, smart tools to get it. There are some authors which claim that communities were sustainable before uh, new modern technology were accepted. Uh, and my question is, it's a nice, it looks fine, but then the problem is what is the modern technology? I think that typical modern technology was fire. 
when people accepted fire, it changed completely the, uh, the uh, community and sustain sustainability was definitely changed. But what does it mean, sustainability? Sustainability is typically connected or understood in a way of environmental sustainability. Everybody, and to say is sustainable, it means for many people uh, the question of uh, environmental measures. And environmentalists are not very welcome by economy, by business people. They don't like them because they say they should behave reasonably. But uh, I remember our former president, uh, he was economist, and he called them a green terrorists, which is not true. I must say that ecology, you can see it. You can see it here, you can see it in Europe. I remember I was in London in 60s, and then uh, much later on, and you could find, you could see the principal difference in, a, in the environmental condition for uh, pe uh, people living. I was faced to presentation about Pittsburgh, for instance. That was awful dirt city now being a very nice to live in. And that's the result of uh, these people, so I'm not against their activities, but they should be reasonable. The other area is the business. Business looks for economic sustainability. I spent many years in business, so I am not the one who would criticize, but against even these people would be reasonable in behaving to the system because not only profit is the result of the installing of a smart city in uh, area because there are the other parameters which are, uh, let's say, uh, gathered together as a sustainability, as a social sustainability, and nobody take, uh, there is not enough of power to fight for. And that's the message I want to say. We need to improve behaving of those who are responsible for citizens' need. So I'm not criticizing uh, economists, I'm not criticizing uh, environmentalists, but I'm afraid that we don't have enough of power to fight for, uh, fight for our citizens' interest and our feeling better in the investment of the new technologies. So what we are looking for as a, uh, people living in the city is the life ability or it is as well uh, something which we call subjective well-being, but how to measure it. That's the problem because it's a soft measure. It's a soft measure which is difficult to describe and definitely difficult to explain to business people. So this is the w one of the dimensions, one of the parameters which must be clarified and much better uh, implemented in a way that this feedback will be operated and will be uh, uh, accepted by those who are deciding about the future of the city. Technology aspects. I would like to notice that te uh, top technology up to uh, the n uh, newest technology doesn't mean exactly smart technology. Such a technology can uh, be accepted as a smart if it's implemented in a smart way. And what does it mean, implement smart implementation? That means a close cooperation with those who are users of this uh, technology, who are uh, those who are the subject of the future uh, application of the solution and uh, such a uh, process must be uh, connected with the education of those people who will use it, uh, preparation for uh, use it and then checking if he is really or they are really using it and they are happy of it and maybe there will come a one day they will pay for it because even to pay for it is the important dimension of the installation in a, in a smart city. So every installation, every new product in a smart city should be carefully justified, not only by that what we did in a company, that means uh, uh, economical uh, analysis, business planning, etc., etc., but also this dimension which is very important. If not, 
we are losing potential to be a smart. We will be a standard economy uh, driven group. Social aspect. Social aspect you see here is something somebody could happen in the area, but it's definitely not necessary to be there. So uh, cities, smart cities should be designed for people and not to be accepted for other living. That's important. And social inclusion and diversity is the key issue of that process. And the other important is granularity and uh, physical proximity. This picture shows how the area can be exposed by force noise of uh, the railway or of, uh, air pollution by uh, the highway. You see that it's still only a small part of the city. The rest is, is happy. The rest is not influenced by it. And if we use the granularity of the whole city, and we will do an opinion pool, should we invest the bloody, bloody money for construction to reduce the noise for those poor people in this area? 80, 90% of people will say, no, we need to construct something else. So that's an a, other very important approach which must be resolved. That means that those who are really influenced by such a processes should be able to say there's opinion to it. Of course, it's a very sensitive issue because this democratic approach of vo vox populi, as we say in Latin, it's something which is easier. It's much easier because majority say it's okay. Let's do it. And those who are in the minority, forget about it. So this is another part which should be very carefully processed and uh, we hope that it will happen. How to uh, reach the citizenship, uh, citizens uh, partnership? There is a lot of technologies. I will only list it because time is uh, stepping with, uh, and I promise to behave myself. So uh, understanding of the citizens, education, as I already mentioned, efficient, commu efficient, efficient communication of every case, explaining what it is. And I like this one, psychological ownership. I am the citizen. You know, the, I am always admiring a North American US citizens, so I'd say when Anthem starts, everybody does that. I am a member of this state. That's what Europeans don't. If there is any relation to European Union, nobody is uh, positively moved with it. And that's the wrong approach. So the approach of the psychological uh, ownership, at least in these small areas, is extremely important to engage people to accept something which is not good for them, on the other side to be balance with a lot of profit they can get with the result of the project. So to inform them, to listen and involve. That's an important way how to do it. So that's again what I said, it must be balanced. And if these three peers of uh, sustainability are not in balance, in the future, there is a great potential of the problems. How to manage the project which are under control, which are in, uh, used to implement uh, such a solution in a smart city? There is a quite a, a standard way, uh, at least we do it in Europe, we do it in our country, that we use a system engineering management plan process which has a lot of advantages. It's absolutely clean, clear, transparent. Everything is easy to manage. Everything is predictable. Everybody knows when, what should be delivered, the parameters, the quality, etc., etc. But the problem is that uh, in such a solution, we never know in advance what we really want. That's the number one. And the second, uh, uh, how to say that involvement of the uh, inhabitants is uh, very limited. We can involve uh, inhabitants or uh, people uh, 
of the city citizens, let's say, we can involve only at the beginning, before the project starts, and then to test what was done, and nothing between. And that's a gap which is not very efficient and definitely generates a lot of problem. We know the uh, agile class of methodology. We have heard a lot about it. We uh, personally, I personally test it with the company. It's a very different approach. Project is split in a small parts, and each part continues, uh, is continued by the next part. Team building is based on a, uh, let's say, self-organized, motivated, and trusted people. It doesn't have a very systematic approach. Close uh, there is an uh, effort to uh, have a very close cooperation between business people and uh, developers. It must be done every day by, by the basis and uh, stress its possibility to change product uh, within the period of uh, development. That seems fl to be flexible enough. It's my conscious, you know. I know. <laughs> so I, <w> I will uh, uh, go step by step to the end. Scram method. Scram method is, must be very close to Americans because it's a part of the American football. Yeah. So they do it, uh, they accept it, uh, and uh, I think that's the way where you can get high efficiency because on everyday basis, you are blocking all the problems, you are removing uh, 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 whatever what is uh, uh, standing uh, on the way to the result, and small steps uh, are enabling better granularity of the process, as enabling uh, that what we expect it should lead to uh, the final decision. What we are trying just now to do, and this is a part of our result, is to join together to combine, let's say, the standard approach uh, based on SAMP system with that what we call Scrum, even if it will be ever a modified version. I will about it speak more in a session uh, tomorrow afternoon, but generally this is the main idea. and. Uh, what uh, uh, additionally add to Scrum is uh, two people responsible for product. This is, you have never seen, that's our idea, and it's not formal only. It's a principle which is implemented, saying that there are two owners of the product. One is responsible to producer, to that, the company he's working for, and the other one is reporting to customer. This is a critical point. Who is the customer? Customer is typically uh, a town hall, town hall officers. This is not enough. There should be more engaged the citizens in a way which we are developing, we are trying to find, we are speaking with psychologists, with psychologists to understand the mass of these people and to engage them in the process. And if this is implemented, person, the red one, it's not communist, definitely not. Uh, I have it somewhere in my mind. Uh, this person is uh, in preparatory period. He's in a planning. He's in a scrums in every day basis when they discuss what is wrong, what is possible to change, what is better to do, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, of course, in a acceptation. And this is running as many times as is needed when the result is reached and then uh, there uh, continues that what is officially oh, uh, what is an official part that user acceptance operation service testing before etc cetera, etc cetera. so all the processes which are expected with the standardization the standard approaches I know uh, so and the last slide so we said that uh, smart city uh, sustainability is something where we have some doubts if everything is really as it is proclaimed, as it, is, as it should be. 